Hi there, and welcome back to 355 Code. Uh, this today we'll be solving last week's weekly JavaScript challenge. Uh, I hope you already had a go at it at home. Uh, and if you want to just check your answer now or uh, learn how to do it, then you're in the right place. Uh, and the challenge was to write a function that takes an array of strings as an argument uh, and returns the longest string. So for example, if the function uh, gets an array like this one on the bottom, it would return this string, the very ugly, uh, because that is the longest one in the array. So we're going to solve it in two steps. First, we're going to solve it without a special JavaScript method. And the way we're going to do that is by using a for loop. Uh, if you're not really sure about for loops, you should check out some of our other videos that explain a little more about uh, loops. Uh, and basically, we're going to run a loop on this uh, array and compare each item to the item before it. So in order to do that, let's set up our for loop. So for, uh, and we're going to start off i at uh, 0. And uh, we're going to run this for loop as long as i is smaller than the length of the array that we uh, put in as an argument for this function. And each time, we'll increment i by 1. And what are we going to be doing uh, in this loop? So first of all, let's declare a uh, variable up here. And uh, this variable is going to be called uh, longest string. And this variable's job will be to constantly be logging the longest string that we received until now. Uh, and we're going to start it off as a blank, uh, as a blank uh, string. And when we run this for loop, each time we run the loop, we are going to be checking if the item in the array is longer than longest string. So if um, array item i is uh, length is longer than longest string dot length, then we are going to replace longest string with i. Uh, sorry, with that item. So array i. OK, so basically what we're doing, uh, we are looping through the array. And we check, OK, is this longest than longest string? Is this longer, sorry, than longest string? If yes, then we that is now our longest string. And we go through the whole uh, array like that. And at the end, what we're going to return is longest string. OK? And this should have our uh, longest string in the array, even if it's not the last item in the array. Uh, so let's just test this out using our constant my array. So let's console.log. Uh, my function is what we called our function. And uh, we're going to run it on my array. And let's see what we get. The very ugly, okay, because that is the longest um, item in the array. So now that we finished solving it using step one, uh, let's take a look at the uh, solution that is provided by uh, JS Challenge. Uh, and it's a very concise uh, solution, but it's a little harder to understand. Uh, so let's just erase everything that we have in our function. And uh, we'll replace it with this uh, very concise um, solution using reduce. And basically, what reduce is is a comparison of uh, an array. And it takes each item in the array and compares it to the result of the previous reduce callback function. So in the beginning, it'll take the first item of the array, unless we specify otherwise. Uh, so A will start out as the first item in the array, and then uh, it'll compare it with B, which is the next item. And then it'll make this comparison, and then the result of the comparison becomes A, and the next item is compared, and so on and so forth. So what is this uh, reduce function doing? Uh, basically, what it's doing is it is saying if A is smaller than B, uh, then return B. Otherwise, return A. And this thing here is called a ternary operator. Uh, it's a slightly more advanced uh, JavaScript concept. Um, and as you can see, they managed to reduce the, um, the solution to basically one line of code. 
Uh, but sometimes that's not always better. It really depends on, and it is important that you solve problems uh, using your actual coding skills and that you understand your own code. Uh, and it is important to write concise and clear code, uh, but it's also very important to uh, get the results. So if you manage to solve uh, the challenge in any way, then huge thumbs up. And if your answer was this final answer provided by JS Challenge, then uh, you are a real master. So uh, I hope you'll join us uh, later this week for our next weekly challenge. And feel free to check out any of our other videos and subscribe to our channel if you want updates about uh, great new uh, JavaScript instructional videos. Uh, see you next time.